Now we can also use the binomial interest rate tree to value a callable bond. And take note that the value of a callable bond is equals to the value of a straight bond or what we call an option free bond minus the value of the call option. And this call option is the option for the issuer and it gives the issuer the right to call back the bond if the bond price were to exceed the exercise price. Now, start with this example. Let's say we have the this interest rate tree below here, which is the same as uh, what I did for the previous uh, example, which you can check out in my previous video. So now we have a three-year annual pay callable bond with a coupon rate of 8%, and the par value is $100, and the bond is callable at $100 at time one only. So be careful with this. Sometimes it's callable at par, sometimes, it's, uh, sometimes there's a different call price, and at times the call period will be time one and time two, or only time two, or only time one. So always read the question carefully before you proceed. Now we'll, we'll, we'll start with the same steps as before. We'll take uh, at time three, we have $108, okay, which is the par value plus coupon. Then now uh, we'll discount each of these back to the previous period. So I'll discount using 10%. Uh, and uh, here, this will give us a value of 98.182. And then for uh, this case, we have $108 discounted at 8%. So that gives us $100. And then for $108, then we discount by 6% for the lower knot. That will give us a value of 101. 0.887. Right then, uh, we will dis uh, of course, the bond cannot be called yet, so we'll proceed to discount it back to time one. And not forgetting, we have the coupons here. As usual, we have $8, $8. So when you discount, remember the weight, the probability is 50% for each knot. So when I calculate the value of the bond at time one, I'll take 0 0.5 multiply by these two values. So there will be 98.182 plus 100 plus the coupon of $8, and then we discount it at 7%. So that gives us a value of $100.85. And then we do the same thing for this knot. So we'll take the 0 0.5, okay, multiply by these two values, 100 and 101.887. Then we add in the coupon, okay, which is this coupon here. Then we discount it at 5%, so that will give us $103.756. Now in this case, because the bond can be called at time 1, we need to check if any of the price here exceeds $101. And we'll see that it's only for the lower knot that is uh, more than 101 So this is greater than 101 So what we'll do is uh, the bond will be called if it's at the lower knot. So we'll cancel this off, and then we'll call back the bond at 101 but for this, this is less than 101, so we'll not call it back. So now when we proceed to discount it back to time zero, so the value of the callable bond now will be based on 0 0.5 multiplied by the upper knot value, 100.085, plus the call value, which is 101. Okay, and then we add in the coupon of $8 here for this period. Then we discount it back using 4%, okay, which is the rate in the uh, it not zero. So that will give us a value 104.368. Now this is the value of the callable bond. Now if we were to do this calculation without assuming a call option, which was what I did in my previous video, the value of the option free bond would have been 105.693. Okay, so this is assuming it's an option free bond and this is for a callable bond. So when we take the difference between the two value, we will get the value of the call option. Okay, so if you are required to calculate the value of the call option, take the value of the callable bond, okay, and then subtract it from the value of the option free bond. So that would give us 104.368, so $1.33. Okay, so this is the value of the call option, and this is the value of the callable bond. So just be careful, check what is a call price and what is the period where you can call the bond.